How big of a deal is the sequester, and what do you think eventually should happen? Well, I, I, I think it could go on for quite a while. At the, uh, the sequester, in effect, reduces the amount of stimulus to the economy. I mean, uh, they talk about stimulus and they say, well, this is a stimulus bill, you know, and they vote 800 million or something, 800 billion, and say, well, this is stimulus. Stimulus is when the government operates at a significant deficit. That, that, that is stimulus by Keynes's definition. We're operating at a trillion dollar deficit, roughly. Uh, the, the sequester reduces that a little bit. Raising the taxes at the start of the year reduces that somewhat. But we're, we're still operating at a deficit that is 6% of GDP. And by Keynes's definition, in the fourth year of a recovery, that's a pretty fair amount of stimulus. So it, it, just, it, it has the effect of reducing stimulus. But it sounds like you think that's a good thing at this point. Well, I think, it, well, I think at some point reducing stimulus is good. And I, I don't think a 6% stimulus in the fourth year, the third to fourth year of a recovery, uh, that is recovering. Uh, I, I think that's still giving the economy quite a quite a juice. So you're not worried about the sequester and about this pulling back in the economy because there have been a lot of scare tactics out there. There have been a lot of people who have said this is the end of days if we get to this point. You don't think that's the case? We're going to bring down spending and we're going to bring up revenues. <laughs> and we may get there in fits and starts and everybody may scream each time we do it. But the deficit is going to come down and it, it needs to come down and it will come down. And and we may be doing it in a meat axe way uh, in this particular move. We did it in kind of a meat axe way in terms of the revenues going up at, at, at the start of the year when we increased uh, uh, the payroll tax by a couple percent. That just that hit all across the board, you know, on poor people and 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 people of moderate means. It was a lot of money. It was roughly an equal amount to the sequester, incidentally. Uh, so we have cut the stimulus from these two factors, but it's still. 6% of GDP. And, and uh, if you'd asked me three or four years ago whether having a running deficits of 6% after a recovery that's been going on for three years was appropriate, I would, I would say that, that that's a fair amount of stimulus. So is, a, is getting there in a meat axe way better than not getting there at all? That's, that's a good question. <laughs> it, it, uh, it probably leads you to getting there at all. <laughs> you may have to use the meat axe first and then people kind of look at their handiwork and say, we have to do better than this. Uh, uh, but, you know, we still are talking about spending $3.6 trillion and taking in $2.6 trillion, and that's a lot of stimulus. Okay. Joe, I know you have